and I keep running into a problem. So this is my last attempt. Sorry if it sucks. Okay, you can go in here and you're going to add, and in my opinion, this is gonna help you the most. There's one of these that says eight buttons or drum pads. I'm gonna do drum pads because they're slightly bigger. Here they are, and we're gonna resize them or not. Let's try that again. Drum pads, resize them, resize them. There we go. We'll throw this like, I don't know, maybe to the top to the right. Make it a little bit smaller. There we go. That way that works. Okay, so now go through and assign each button on the keyboard. It will recognize the input as the Arturia, but I'm doing my keyboard at home. And the idea is we're tricking these pads into thinking they are pitches like C1, C2, C3. So I hit the note C3, assign C4, assign, and notice how they automatically look like they should be D1, right? So I'm just calling it C, D, and E, cool? So this says C, this is a D, this says E. And now I just realized to make our life easier, it's gonna be better if I change it to C1. We'll do this now. And I'll explain in a second why C1 is better. Okay, sign this, we'll call it C sharp one, and we'll call this D one. Okay, now that those three are assigned to those specific pitches, if you look at what it says to do, it says it's a drum pad, display nothing, and it's not asking to do much besides do. Okay, so if I could assign and map that, map parameter, sampler, go to our sampler here, Pitch. Okay, we'll do that later. We're going to add another sampler. Boom. But this time, nope, I need to do it different. Stay with me. And delete that. And we're going to just make a mini like eight note keyboard. Lowest key C1, number of keys, we'll do eight, boom. Here's our cute little keyboard right there. I'm gonna just put it up to the left and display keyboard layers, nope. So we're gonna pretend there are eight keys on this. We're gonna assign it, I'm gonna assign it the eight pads. It's gonna tell you C1 on mine, don't worry about it. It should register C1 because the pad should do the same, okay? Now that that has been assigned, if I play that note, it should play here and it might do the same thing right here on there, okay? Now, we are gonna rename this as a new thing. So we're gonna create a channel strip, and then it's telling me it's called AK321 or sampler, that is okay. And then software instrument, create. And then here's our device channel strip. I'm gonna name it um, whatever you're gonna call this. Um, I'll call aux. Okay, and then instrument is sampler, multi-sample, it should be at the top. If not, you can go to sampler down here or main stage and then sampler. All three get you the same result. I recommend stereo. When you go into here, this is where it gets interesting. Okay, 
So each one of these keys look like it's a piano, but they've been mapped to buttons on your keyboard, theoretically. So when you go to mapping and it tells you to drag an audio file, I can go in here and go to zone, load audio file, and I'm gonna select the one, this one for me, happens to be Mandalorian, you might have to um, share it with Shab somehow or airdrop it however you'd like to. Now take the sample and drag it to whatever key you wanted it to be. So if the button was the fourth one in and you called it um, CF, go ahead and do that. I'm gonna bring it to C1 and here's why. If you open up the beginning of the show, and by the way, wherever you create that, you need that to be right where you want the sample in the show. If I go to the top, this shows you in the sampler here that in their show, in the mapping, they use pretty much every single key through here. Now I see one highlighted, but that's because I've already gone in and accidentally added a note there. You shouldn't have one there. So C1 to 3 is fair game as far as it's concerned for triggering a sample on that keyboard. But there's no key for those notes, but there is a pad. So if I go in and I press C here, it should trigger the sample I created. Or not, because I'm in the wrong part of the show. So here I am. I'll show you using the screen. I'm holding the button down, and it's playing my sample. So ideally, the pad you have should do that. Now if I go into this, I can go to Zone and select right to the audio I need and right where I want it to stop. Now the next part is you want to go down to one shot so it just plays once. Okay, you can zoom in so it looks like you have your eight key keyboard and then group one is the one that no matter what will play, group two is a different zone where you can make two different sound effects happen at the same time. Okay, so now if I click the key on my keyboard, it will play my sample right away without having to worry about it. And that is an easy way to do it. I made another video about buttons and how to do it with buttons, but the problem I'm having is the buttons are assigning to a keyboard. And it, um, I guess what you could do is you could create buttons and assign them to keys on the keyboard. But uh, that's a little bit dicier and wasn't working as well. So those are your options. If it's not working, feel free to call me and I can try and help you troubleshoot. Cool, and bye.